welcome back to my channel today i'm about to make uh basically hibachi um black version a couple of my ingredients will be different than a regular hibachi you know a lot more seasoning um but yeah uh if you've had hibachi bros in houston then that's what i'm trying to replicate and we're using chicken today which i have cleaning out right now and i'm gonna boil my jasmine rice now, I'm not sure if every recipe calls for jasmine rice, but I love me some jasmine rice. So, um, I use this brand and I buy the big bag because that's how much I like jasmine rice. Uh, but I'm gonna boil the, the rice first because it says you should boil the rice a day prior and let it sit in the fridge. We're gonna do a, a couple hours before I start cooking just so it'll be sat for a little while. But, um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay y'all, so first things first, I don't measure anything when I cook, uh, it pretty much comes natural, um, but with the rice I use a serving size for four, which was about a cup. Okay, so here you'll see me remove the skin of the zucchini squash and you see me remove about every other um, area of it. You actually don't even have to remove the skin if you don't want to, but I just like the look of the every other. And as I continue to make cooking videos, y'all will really notice it's all about presentation for me because if the food don't look good, I don't want it. So in this next clip, you can see that I decided to slice the squash again in half. Um, it all depends on how large or small you want your pieces throughout the hibachi. I prefer decently large pieces, so yeah. cleaning off my chicken I go ahead and dice it up into pretty small uh, pieces just so that there can be chicken throughout the entire meal I decided to chop the broccoli right in half. I didn't think that I would need that much of it, so I saved the other half. However, I could have gone ahead and added that other piece in. I really like my hibachi heavily veggied, so um, I go ahead and chop up the broccoli into really, really small pieces just so that that can be throughout the meal as well. But yeah, if you feel like you like heavy veggies in your hibachi, then go ahead and add that whole broccoli stem. someone that likes onions uh, go ahead and add a bunch and if you're someone that doesn't uh, 
I would still add them in lightly. Um, I fry them in butter later on in the clips, so I kind of caramelize them and you don't really taste them, you just get the flavor of them uh, ever so slightly, so yeah. Once again, I do not measure anything, um, and the amount of butter you use will also depend on the amount of vegetables you have cut up or decided to use, so uh, that's about maybe a tablespoon and a half. I add butter throughout the entire process, so again, depends on the amount of vegetables you're using. don't want your vegetables to be like soggy or drenched with butter um, not that this is the healthiest meal ever but we don't want to drench our vegetables uh, defeats the purpose you go ahead and add enough so that it is at least frying but not soaking up the vegetables I also add a little vegetable oil just to get that frying process going a little quicker and I didn't show me add the egg in, but I just put a little bit of butter and a little more vegetable oil in that other pan and cracked two eggs. Pretty simple. I also didn't show me add the chicken in, but that's pretty self-explanatory. After the egg was done cooking, I added the chicken, a little more butter, and a little more vegetable oil, and bam. Then I added all the completed ingredients together into the same pan, a little soy sauce, and voila, we bada bachi. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my highly requested hibachi recipe video. I'm going to make sure to include more of the recipe tips below and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.